वेलकम टू कंबाइंड क्लासेस ऑफ गणिता सूत्रस मैथमेटिक्स एंड फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स एंड फाइव स्पेस वी एम एस टी बेसिस बेस वैल्यूज टूडे वी आर एट लेसन नाइन ऑफ गणिता सूत्रस मैथमेटिक्स एंड फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल्स एंड लेसन एट्टी वन of phase 14 uma samita of shipron we can recapitulate that for the last two lessons we have been sequentially initiating ourselves and exposing our intelligence to the unified features of the vedic systems which initiated with the devanagari alphabet reaching and availing the format of sthapatya mairing rod and availing the 11 geometries range of five space with 11 versions of hypercube 5 as their representative regular bodies and uma samita is leading us to providing us the formats of the transcendental grace bestowed upon lord krishna by the transcendental family and with this transcendental grace lord krishna blessed with the sun samba a step ahead we had seen that ganita sutra 1 and ganita up sutra 1 are of transcendental code values and other values and features parallel to this enlightenment phenomenon this transcendental phenomenon of a uma samita the transcendental family bestowing transcendental grace upon lord krishna and lord krishna being blessed with san sambe further we recapitulate that the lord shiv and the goddess parvati with transcendental values 12 and 23 as a summation value 35 is equal to the tcv value of the formulation purve while the lord ganesh and lord skand skand kartika are of tcv values 20 and 20 each making a value 40 which is equal to the tcv value of the formulation ekadhike as such the organization features of the text of ganita sutra 1 as formulation ekadhike of tc value 40 and the formulation purve of value 35 with the combined summation value 75 is the phenomenon which is parallel to the phenomenon of the transcendental family as quadruple members of the transcendental family having appeared before the lord krishna and the transcendental family had given a transcendental phenomenon of the values 40 and 35 as per and parallel to the transcendental code values of ganita sutra 1 with ekadhike in purve of tc value 40 equal to the value of lord ganesh and lord skand and the formulation purve is of value 35 equal to the value of the lord shiv and the goddess parvati this way we had also seen further that the lord krishna and san sam both had taken us to the value 41 and the transcendental joint of a linear order made it value 42 which is parallel to the transcendental value of ganita sutra 1 with it we can have an insight as that the ganita sutra one the source sutra ganita upsutra one the source upsutra or 
being of a transcendental base and values parallel to the transcendental phenomenon of the Uma Samhita, the first transcendental phenomenon as providing us enlightenment, or first enlightenment in the form of the transcendental family appearing, blessing, bestowing transcendental grace upon Lord Krishna and he is blessed with the son Sam and this value 42 of Krita Sutra, Up Sutra 1 as it is will help us appreciate that this value 42 is equal to the synthesis value of the pair of spatial order transcendence ranges. With it we can appreciate and we can have an insight as that the Vedic mathematics systems and values or as that the Lord Krishna was advised by Upamanya of TC value 31 which is parallel to the well synthesis value of the pair of transcendence ranges of a linear order. As such, this transcendental phenomenon as it is, is sequentially taking us a step ahead from the transcendental carrier of a linear order to the transcendental carrier of a spatial order. Then a step ahead, we had been face to face with the phenomenon of Ganita Sutra 2 and Ganita of Sutra 2 as of the transcendental code values 107 and 74 making it a total value of 181 and we shall as such in continuity appreciate how the sequential transition steps are inherently inbuilt in the organization of the Ganita Sutras as Ganita Sutra 1 together with Ganita of Sutra 1 as a first step of transition takes to Ganita Sutra 2 together with Ganita of Sutra 2. Here we had seen that the format of this transition from this transcendental phenomenon had been of the format of hypercube of 5, a fourth transcendental domain enveloped within a creative boundary of 10 components. Today we are going a step ahead. We are today at Neil lesson 1 shall be concentrating upon the third enlightenment phase and stage and the format here is that the self-referral domain 6 space as a raised to power 6 is to 12, b raised to power 5 takes us further that the transcendental domain itself is of the format a raised to power 5 is to 10, b raised to power 4 and a step ahead a raised to power 4 is to 8, a, b raised to power 3 now in these three stages we know we will require as many as 8 into 10 into 12 is equal to 960 960 cubes envelope is accepted by our solar universe. Six space sun is enveloped within a creative boundary of 10 components and this space is sorry this six space domain is enveloped by a transcendental boundary of 12 components and the transcendental space so the surya solar universe is heavy envelope of a space this space five space transcendental domain as a transcendental boundary further takes us to a raised to power 5 is to 10 b raised to power 4 a transcendental domain being enveloped within a creative boundary of a 10 components and a step ahead the creative domain, four space domain is enveloped 
within a solid boundary of eight components. This setup of a third stage is ultimately leading to the requirement of as many as 960 cubes. 960 cubes requirement is there for having complete enveloping of our solar universe. The solar universe envelopment is of the format of a six space. Six space is having a transcendental boundary and transcendental domain is having creative boundary and creative domain is having a solid boundary. Now this phase and stage of the organization is when appreciated to have how this organization format features are parallel to the organization format features of Ganita Sutra 3 and Ganita Upsutra 3. Ganita Upsutra 3 is a composition of as many as 23 letters. We know that value 23 is the value of the formulation Parvati, Goddess Parvati. Therefore, the value 23, the value of the Goddess Parvati is the num parallel to the number of letters of Ganita Sutra and the transcendental code values accepted by these 23 letters comes to be 96. Let us have a pause here and take note that the goddess is the goddess is the creative envelope. Lord Shiv is within the creative envelope. It is envelope of value 10 components and we know Goddess is a Shakti, is a power and the formulation Shakti is of TCV value 10. The, this Shakti, a Goddess, how it subsequently emerges, evolves as a transcendental phenomenon of Sati of value 10, then Uma of value 14. So value Sati which is value 10 is of the organization of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 so it is hypercube 3 it is a solid state and step ahead the value 14 is equal to value 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 of hypercube of 4 and Parvati is the value of the transcendental domain 5 space as of a solid dimension 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 into 3 is 15 and this 8 plus 15 is 23. Therefore one shall have a pause here and have a revisit to the setup of the Sthapatya Miring Rod. The Sthapatya Miring Rod is a synthetic setup of hypercubes 1 to 6. Each hypercube is a fourfold manifestation layer. Now 3 space hypercube 3 is of fourfold manifestation layer 1, 2, 3, 4 and its summation value is 10. And hypercube 4 is of value 2, 3, 4, 5 and it is of value 40. So this value 10 is equal to the TC value of formulation Shakti. It is also equal to the TC value of formulation Sati, Goddess Sati. The value 2, 3, 4, 5 is a value which is parallel to the value of fourfold manifestation layer of hypercube 4. This value 2, 3, 4, 5 is 14 is a value which is equal to the TCV value of um, formulation UMA. The goddess UMA is of this base format and goddess Sati is of this format base. Now it is here we can have a pause as that the three space plays the role of the dimension of a five space. So a step ahead when three space will go to five space a dimension it will lead to the hypercube seven. So reach from here to hypercube seven 
as a fourfold manifestation layer 5, 6, 7 and 8 of summation value 26. Now it is this phase and stage of value 26 which is the subject matter of chase, subject matter of learning. It is the initiation step for the proper exposure for our intelligence as that the phenomenon of a reach is step ahead from hypercube 6 at hypercube 7 with 7 space in the role of an origin of a 6 space would mean that this phenomenon is ultimately taking us to the origin of hypercube 7. Therefore from domain we shall be reaching to the origin. It is this reach from domain to the origin amounts to that the dimension and the domain get superimposed and further 3 plus 5 in case of 5 space with 3 space as origin 3 plus 5 is 8 3 into 5 is 15 and one addition and multiplication operations get superimposed it gives to the value 23 which is parallel to the value tc value of formulation parvati the goddess parvati of value 23 therefore these are three sequential stages of sati uma and parvati or phases and stages which deserve to be comprehended well. One shall sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to be face to face with these format values and features. Now let us go back to the organization format of Sutra 3, Udharva Tiriyag Bhyam. This Sutra is of 15 letters. C. 3 into 5 is 15. The Upsutra 1 is of value 23, which is equal to 3 plus 5 uh, plus 3 into 5. Therefore, going a step ahead, so the interconnection between the two, the interlinking between the two, the bridging values of these Upsutras as such deserve to be appreciated. Further, let us see that value 56 is equal to the number of factors for the values 1 to 28. Values 1 to 28 lead to factors 56. Therefore, this relationship of value 56 is straight with the value 28. Value 28 is the value of the number of letters of Ganita Sutra 2. Let us further have a pause here and take note that the Uma Samhita is after the enlightenment of the quadruple, quadruple transcendental family bestowing transcendental grace upon Lord Krishna takes us to the phase and stage of the existence phenomenon when Pap, the bad acts, Punne, the good acts, both together lead to a domain. What is that domain? That is the domain of value 26. This hypercube 6 with an origin at 7 is a setup that the entire existence activities, all acts of all processes of this format of hypercube 6 of Sthapate Mairing Rod. So Sthapate Mairing Rod as a format for the flow of the transcendental values. The transcendental values means a five space value. So five space content lumps when flow along the format of a stapate mirroring rod, these flow in the form and format of transcendental carriers. Now these transcendental carriers are carried by the transcendental lord. And the transcendental lord carries the transcendental values and this flow ultimately reaches a sixth vein with a reach at its orb. So orb of the sun which is a seat of seventh space which is a seat of a pole star is the seat of the origin. Let us have a pause. Let us make a note in our TCB dictionary as well as in our VM referencer as that the transcendental flow along the format of a sthapatya mirroring rod, 
presided by Lord Vishnu, the overlord of six space, and Lord Brahma presiding over the mire of this miring rod. This transcendental flow is of the reach, the end reach of this transcendental flow is within six space domain, within a sun, up till its orb, up till its origin. Therefore, the transcendental flow will take to the six space domain with a reach up till its origin. Now, let us have a pause here. This reach up till this is designated as a reach of a Yamlok. Let us revisit the formulation Yam and Lok. We will see that the formulation Yam is of TCV value 12 and formulation Lok is of TC value 14. It is a value 26. Let us further see that this is a formulation of Shiv and it is the value of Uma. Further let us see that this is the value of Shiv and 14 is also a value of her. Therefore, if we revisit 1000 transcendental names of Lord Shiv, then we know the first name is Shiv of TCV value 12. Second name is her of TC value 14 leading to the total value 26. This value 26 is equal to the value of Shiv and Uma. Further, let us see that this value is also equal to the value of a Yam and of Lok. Therefore, this phenomenon deserves to be appreciated as that the transcendental flow along the Sthapatya Mairing rod is of a reach within six space up till its origin which is a seat of a seven space and this within six space this sun reach will be up till the origin it is of seven space and it is of transcendental order or dimension is five space therefore five space is leading us to a transcendental manifestation layer and it is of value 26. Therefore, let us sit comfortably and permit the transcending mind to appreciate as that this transcendental phenomenon, the enlightenment of the Uma Samhita is the enlightenment of the transcendental flow along the format of a Stapatya Mairing rod presided by Lord Vishnu, the overlord of six space, and Mayer being presided by Lord Brahma, the overlord of four space. And the transcendental flow itself is in the form of a transcendental carrier being carried by the transcendental Lord himself. With this five space in the role of a dimension leads us to a fourfold manifestation layer 5, 6, 7, 8 and of value 26. It is here where we shall have a pause and take note that value 26 is a value which as a dimension takes us to 28 as a domain. It is the domain of Brahm. Therefore, from 6 Surya we reach Brahm. That means this whole phenomenon is ultimately of the steps of reaching from first perfect number with three proper divisors to second perfect number of five proper factors. Therefore, this 28 value is the value which gives us the factors 56 means if we write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up till 28 and write down its factors, then we will count that these factors become 56. Now it is this phenomenon that which is the phenomenon which brings us face to face with as that the value 28 has addition of 28 another value because of the factors. This value 28 and the five factors 
proper divisors of 28 gives us a value 140. It would be blissful to take note that the Uma Samhita enlightenment is that the entire existence phenomenon of a transcendental flow along the format of a sthapatya mirroring rod is the phenomenon of a reach from the solar universe of the format and features of a Brahm values from value 6 to value 28. Now this phenomenon of fulfilling the solar universe with the transcendental values becomes the phenomenon of 28 multiplied by 5 is equal to 140. Now this value 140 is the value which is being chased by the Uma Samhita for the enlightenment as that entire activities, entire karmas, entire actions, entire processing steps and entire happening of our solar universe is a living phenomenon within human frame or beyond human frame, within frames or without frames, is going to be of 140 steps. These 140 steps are the evolution steps. These 140 steps are chased as a narc with roro means the deepest possible depths of that domain being of 140 steps. Now these 140 steps are the steps which are being the reach for the karmas. May it be pop, may it be pun. And we know the value pop, the translation pop, the formulation pop is of value 11. While the value pun is of value 17. Further we know that the 5 space is having 11 geometries range and the Rudra, the incarnation the, of uh, format of geometry is of value 17. So this interconnection, so much is the interlinking interconnection of each and every value of this existence phenomenon along the sthapatya mirroring rod being chased by the Vedic systems that sadhakas fulfilled with the intensity of urge to be face to face with it with an urge to imbibe this with the urge to acquire an insight with an urge to imbibe all these to be to entitle oneself for the enlightenment for, for bestowing of the transcendental grace shall sit comfortably and sequentially go through the Devanagari alphabet, Sthapatya Mairing Rod, 11 versions of Hypercube of 5, the enlightenment of the transcendental family, quadruple members of the family manifesting themselves for bestowing transcendental grace upon Lord Krishna and this format of five hypercube five the represented regular body of four space is giving us that the four creative boundary hypercube four is of value 14 while hypercube five is of value 18. Now this hypercube five with the 10 creative components making it a total value of 14 into 10 is equal to 140 and with this 140 value means when all the creative 10 all the 10 creative components strip off then the five space will transcend as a transcendental boundary of six space of 12 components with this the phenomenon will be that the all the 10 creative boundary components of a transcendental domain strip off and you dimensionalize the outside space as of 140 value and the 5 space itself 
going for the role of a transcendental boundary of 12 components and it will make the total value of 140 plus 12 is equal to 152. It would be blissful to take note that the TCV value of the 15 letters of Ganita Sutra 3 and the TC value 96 of 23 letters of Ganita Up Sutra 3 together make a value 152. Make a note in Vedic Mathematics Referencer as well as in TCB Dictionary as to how the transcendental code values of Ganita Sutra 3 together with the transcendental code values Ganita Up Sutra 3 make a value 152 and 152 is a value of the organization format of 10 into 14 140 values because of the 10 creative components of a transcendental domain stripping off and getting fulfilled within the solar universe and five space itself when being free of the entire creative limitations of the boundary goes in the role of a transcendental boundary of 12 components so this phenomenon of solar universe getting fulfilled with as many as 152 values including the values of the transcendental boundary which ultimately when will strip off will play the role of creation of a unity state seven space pole star state origin of a solar universe all these phenomena all these factors are really very large and simultaneously many flow streams emerge at each and every point Therefore, the sadhkas shall sit comfortably, permit the transcending mind to be parallel to with this phenomenon and in a very gentle step, in a sequential way, the way Ganita Sutras are unfolding themselves sequentially, letter by letter, sutra by sutra, up sutra by up sutra and bridge, the gaps between the sutras being bridged by up sutras, this phenomenon as it is deserves to be chased like that as simultaneously there are very large number of streams flowing further we can see that the Grita Sutras 1, 2 and 3 as serial number 1, 2 and 3 as first three letters of Ganita Sutra 1 of value 6, 4 and 2 as first letters of Ganita Sutra 1, Ganita Sutra 3 as 6, 8, 4 as first letter of Ganita Sutra 1, pair of letters of Ganita Sutra 2 and triple letters of Ganita Sutra 3 are value 6, 10, 15 the last letter of Ganita Sutra 1 is a value 1 last letter of Ganita Sutra 2 is value 13 last letter of Ganita Sutra 3 is 9 and the last letter the, the last two letters of Ganita Sutra last three letters of three and these values as these values are taking us to 6, 12, 20, 31, 23, 26 making it see this value is 6 plus 12 is 18, 38, 69, 69 and 49 69 and 149 sum it up. See the way entire organization is stitched in many folds in many ways starting from first letter to the last letter starting from the last letter reaching to the first letter starting from sutra 1, 2 and 3 going in this sequence starting with the first letters of the sutras starting with the first second two and third letters in that sequence from the beginning and end. So this is teaching, this organization, these processing steps make a mathematics, a mathematics, a Ganita Sutras, the mathematics of Ganita Sutras as the mathematics of a five space format and for the students fulfilled with intensity of urge to know the real Vedic base of the mathematics of Ganita Sutras and of the transcendental format, five space format and of the Sthapatya Mairing Rod 
and of the Devanagari format and of the hypercube 5, the represented regular body of 5 space shall come to the shelter of the ancient wisdom text of Shipran and when one will reach the fifth Samhita, the Uma Samhita, then one would really be face to face with as to how simultaneously the one can go from the middle to the either end and can reach back from either end to a middle and the beginning, end and middle, everything will get unified. It is this unification of beginning, end and the middle which is Adi, Ant and Madhya. Adi, Ant and Madhya when becomes of the same format, same values, same features, it will be a transcendental format and it will be a blissful reach achievement. One shall sit comfortably, one shall permit the transcending mind and the Vedic mathematics prayer shall be followed by the transcendental meditation and with it we will be having the satisfaction of to claim we are on the transcendental path and we may be blessed with the transcendental grace. Thank you very much.